A few months ago, we created Shreddy, our homemade plastic shredder, and our viewers loved it. Despite our enhanced Shreddy 2.0, you viewers still had recommendations, so we took all your suggestions from the comments and developed a superior Shreddy 3.0. It's super powerful. So get ready to build Shreddy. The main mechanical components of the machine are these circular spacers, these hardened steel blades, which are an upgrade to the mild steel blades that we used in our previous video, our two custom side plates that we machined to very tight tolerance, and these two inch bearings, which will come pre-installed in the kit that is now available on our website. We also have these much tougher and thicker steel drive shafts and the machine keys used to transfer torque from the shafts to the blades. We also use these steel couplers to attach our motors to the shaft and we plan on making a bicycle powered version of Shreddy with this sprocket as well. You know, cycle and recycle. The first step to assemble these parts was to insert the bearings into the holes in these steel plates. Now these are a very precise fit so we had to go and properly press them in. Now before we get to the next step, here's a quick visual to show how we designed our parts to ensure the blades and circular spacers won't rotate on the shaft. This is a standard design for transferring very high torques where a coupler like this just keeps slipping. As you can see, both the spacer and the shaft have a groove in them called a keyway which gives us space to insert this thin keystock that transfers all the torque from the shaft to the blades. Alrighty, let's start building. The first step is to insert the drive shafts into the two bearings. It's a perfect fit. Now we slide our machine keys in and all that's left to do is install all the blades and spacers in an alternating fashion. We know these are all going to fit perfectly because we face all of these blades to the exact thickness. For the sake of this video we also ground these 32 blades which was totally unnecessary but I can't think of why it would hurt to have added precision. So moving on, we install the spacers in an alternating fashion onto each shaft. After mounting these components, we capped Shreddy off with the second bearing plate and we were left with this beautiful array of cutters. It looks very promising. Now, you can mount the blades on however you'd like, but note that we staggered them such that all the parts get pushed to the middle, unlike Shreddy 2.0 which would push all parts from right to left. Our last step with the Shreddy kit is to install these outside walls which hold all of the parts together. This here is the complete kit that you can get on our website. You can power it with a motor, a bike, or any other safe method to spin the blades. We decided to start with motors, so naturally our next step is installing the two couplers onto the shaft. We used a lathe to turn down our shafts to the proper diameter, and the coupler slid on there perfectly. Unfortunately, again, they can't grip onto the shaft tight enough, so we also machined keyways on here to help transfer our torque from the motor to the shaft. Speaking of motor, at this point you can attach any power mechanism you want. We cut out a custom yet simple design that bolts onto the frame very easily. Just push the 3 8 by 16 bolts in from the inside of Shreddy and thread on these McMaster standoffs. Once we got all 6 on there, we simply had to screw our motor plate on. Very similar to our Shreddy 2.0 design with the stepper motor and the 80 to 1 ratio planetary gearbox, we used a 250 to 1 planetary gearbox to really increase the torque. We just push the gearbox into the coupler, tighten it down, install the second gearbox which is another very major upgrade from the V2 and then bolted them both into the motor plate with these M5 screws. These gearboxes from Lichuan output so much torque that I can even quickly do a test shred with just the power of my thumbs. This is looking super promising. For motors, we're using these Lichuan servo motors which are immediately compatible with the gearboxes. Just slide them in, 4 M5 screws in each motor set them in place and we're ready to program this super awesome looking machine. Now we've already demonstrated how to program this in our last Shreddy 2.0 video so feel free to watch that for a quick Arduino refresher. It starts at 5 minutes and 45 seconds. A simple turn of the potentiometer and the motors begin to spin at whatever speed you set them to. Great, let's start recycling. By the way, note how this set of blades is spinning slower than this one. We programmed the motors in this way because we found that it helps with the shearing process. Now this worked super well, but there are two things that are wrong. First of all, there are no safety covers, so let me quickly run to the 3D printer. Now that it's done, this feature will prevent hair, hands, or any other loose hanging objects from getting caught, and it bolts right in. Our next safety feature is this switch that must be activated or the machine will not be enabled. In other words, the lid must be installed or the machine won't turn on. We also added feet to the threads below to allow room for the shredded pieces accumulating at the bottom. First test of the fully completed Shreddy are these water bottles. Shreddy chewed them up like butter and underneath we could see a pile of beautifully shredded bottles. Here's a visual from a different angle showing how Shreddy shreds these bottles. This side by side view shows the live shredded bits falling at the bottom. 
All right, now it's time to stop the machine and collect our shreds. We've got a pretty decent amount of plastic here and we're going to take a pile of it to use with Injecto. Injecto is a great DIY machine that lets us recycle our plastic shreds into 3D printed molds. This machine is small enough to sit on any desktop and is super easy to use. We've already used recycled ABS plastic to make some fishing lures, functional building blocks that actually click together, and other random parts around the shop with it. Injecto complements Shreddy perfectly, so feel free to watch the Injecto videos on our channel. All right, so we're gonna throw a couple different things into the shredder. For the sake of the demonstration, I'm going to remove the safety cover, but don't forget to always work with safety. Let's go. Safety cover is off. Let's start by throwing in some 3D prints. Don't forget to subscribe. And safety first. Next up, we have these building blocks that we made using our Injecto 2.0 in our previous video. Listen to that satisfying crunch. That's what we like to hear. Lastly, we're super curious to see if Shreddy 3.0 can shred aluminum cans. So let's give that a try. By the way, before we do this, if anyone's interested in buying their own Shreddy 3 mechanical kit, you can get those on our website right now. Check out actionbox.ca. Whoa, this is so awesome and satisfying. I honestly didn't think that Shreddy would be capable of shredding these cans into bits. So let's clean up this mess and talk about some safety. When working with machines, it's important to wear eye protection and always tie long hair back. Don't learn why the hard way. Don't be like Barbie. Now, if you guys like the shirt I'm wearing, check out our YouTube store. Also, consider becoming a channel member. We'll see you next time.